Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn what are forward only dynamic SQL Server cursors. As we know that cursors are used for the row by row operations. So we can get one row at a time from a data set and perform an operation. Now forward only dynamic cursors, uh, they have some special characters and here I have put in the right side. So what we are telling you, forward only cursors do not allow backward scrolling. That's very first point. So in the cursors, we can use last, first, prior, relative, absolute, and other options to retrieve some specific rows from the data set. But when we are using forward only cursors, we can only use fetch next. So there is no option we can use the last or we can use the absolute or relative positions for the rows in the result set. The next part, forward only dynamic cursors are sensitive to data changes. So if we make update, delete, insert in the table, we, these, those changes will be reflected when it is going to fetch the next record. So let's go and take a look how they work. Right now what I have here, I have a table, customer, with a customer ID, customer name, street, city and state. And then uh, let's put a couple of records in this table. Now it doesn't have any record. Let's insert two records. So we inserted two records. Here uh, we have ID 1, name Amir, and then we have ID 2 and name Raza. Now let's go to cursor and take a look. Here I have declared some variable. So while I will fetch the row, I want to save those values to some variables. So that's why I declare all the variables for all those columns which will be returned for while I will be fetching each row from the cursor. Next part, we are declaring a cursor. We say declare cursor name and then we have to say cursor keyword and here four. And here we will be using the select query that can extract or select the data from single table or multiple tables or it, it can use functions or views. So it will be a select query that is going to return the definition for our cursor. Next, we'll open a cursor and here, we uh, what I'm doing, I'm just printing a, a statement uh, saying cursor is open. Next, uh, what we have, uh, we fetch the very first row from the uh, result set by using fetch next from cursor. And uh, we save that value or values in the variable. And then uh, we are entering in a loop. Uh, we are using uh, at the rate, at the rate fetch status, uh, a global variable that once we fetch the very first row, the value of this uh, variable will be set to non-zero value. So then we keep fetching, uh, we, once we enter in the loop and keep fetching, uh, once uh, we fetch all the records, uh, the value of this variable will be zero. Once it will be zero, we will come outside uh, the loop uh, and we close the cursor and then we deallocate cursor. So we remove from the memory. Here, what we are doing uh, inside the loop, I'm using uh, two statements. Uh, one is the uh, raise error. So let me comment this out. I, and here, second one is, uh, I'm saying wait for delay. Wait for delay, give us the opportunity to wait for 15 seconds here. You can change to any um, time that you like, but I'm just putting 15 seconds. So it's gonna wait here for 15 seconds before it go to the next statement. The next statement, uh, what we have here, I'm printing those values that we have saved from the row or cursor row to the variables here. Now, uh, concat function will concatenate integer and string values and then print that for us so we can see the results. If you are using an old version such as 2005 or 2008, you will not be able to use a concat function because it is available in SQL 2012 and 14. So uh, you have to use the plus sign and when you use the plus sign, you have to cast or convert the string, uh, integer data types such as we have customer ID that is integer to the string before you concatenate them. So you can use that plus sign. Next, uh, we are fetching uh, the next record uh, or row 
from the cursor and saving that to the variables again so it's going to be in the loop uh, and the key fetching uh, the records uh. now let's uh, comment this for now and as we know that uh, this query is returning uh, two records uh. so we can run uh, the entire cursor now i did not put uh, any type here such as uh, say in, uh, dynamic uh, cursor um, and uh, oh sorry uh, I didn't say forward only dynamic cursor here uh, right now we just declared the cursor we didn't put anything uh, static dynamic forward only or anything so we will see when we don't uh, um, tell the cursor what type it is what is default type so we'll see with some experiments so let's run the cursor script now and we see that it printed cursor is open by using this statement and then uh, uh, it it uh, already saved the values here when it came inside it printed that value here and then it fetched the next record from the cursor result set and then it came back and printed here once the both were printed it came out of the loop and then um, closed the cursor and deallocated from the memory so that's how it is working now as we know that the forward only cursors cannot uh, use uh, the other options uh, such as last, next, uh, prior and all that uh, so let's change this one to the last uh, or uh, we were telling absolute or relative all those scrolling options are not available in uh, forward only cursors uh, so I didn't change uh, anything here I'm just still saying uh, declare cursor cursor 4 and then here I use, try to use the last uh, option in the fetching so when I run this one what happened it is telling me the fetch type last cannot be used in the forward only cursors that tells us if we would if we do not put any type here this is forward only cursor so that we got to know right away now as we cannot use any other options we have to use the next so I, I put the next I'm going to enable these Two statements here so we can wait so next part we want to understand if uh, uh, when uh, sorry when we do not put uh, any type of cursor here it is forward only we got to know but is this dynamic or SQL so we want to experiment and find out let's run this cursor now it is running and if uh, I go back uh, and uh, let's say insert another record so I inserted a record we come back here till it is on um, 11 12 seconds so when we started a cursor it had only two records now we inserted a next record so what is going to happen if it is a dynamic cursor it should include the third record and print three records because in the dynamic it go back to the source on each of the fetch and bring the changes so if it would be static it would not care about the changes in the original tables so if it is static it will never bring the three records so as we see that the third record is printed it means it is a dynamic because after the cursor was open and we inserted the record here in the source table it went back on the next fetch and brought that record or changes so it is a forward only we got to know this one this is forward only dynamic cursor when we do not put anything right next to the cursor so that by default we have a forward only dynamic cursor we can we can write this by saying here we have to take this one say declare cursor cursor and then we have to say forward f4 only and then we have say dynamic so now we put the keywords in forward only dynamic even uh, when we don't put that that means the same uh, but we just wanna put that uh, to make sure or we don't wanna get the confused uh, what type of cursor it is so we have to say forward only dynamic okay so now it is going to work, work the same way what it was working before but we have mentioned these words here okay next we are going to do some experiments and as we see that already 
then if we insert a new record it will populate that one next what we are going to do we are going to run the cursor right now let's take the select query it has three records now if we run the cursor here and go back and delete all the records we have deleted all the records cursor is opened while we deleted the records so what is going to happen now when cursor open it fetched the very first row here and that's why it is a printing only one record when it went for the next fetch what happened we have already deleted those records so in the dynamic cursor if you make the changes to the source they will be extracted or updated in the next fetch that's why it did not bring any records as they were deleted on the next fetch let's go back and insert those records back and now we are going to experiment with the update so now what we have here let me insert this one as well now we have three records with customer name Amir Shahzad, M. Raza and John Smith what we are going to do we are going to run our cursor so when we run the cursor cursor is going to extract these three records from the table and then put into the memory okay next it is going to open it next it will fetch the very first records so it is going to fetch this record so it will have id4 amir and uh, amir shahzad and all uh, the other values from this uh, row it is going to fetch and save into the variable and while it will enter the loop and wait for 15 seconds uh, to the for the next fetch uh, what we are going to do we are going to come back here and update all the records uh, and especially first name uh, customer name uh, we will update with the no name now it has already extracted the one row it is going to print that row with the value id4 and name amir when it is going to go for the next fetch uh, it will not print uh, these uh, m raza or john smith uh, it ha it will have the values uh, with no name so it is going to print that one for us so let's run this one so we start the cursor it opened now we are going back we are updating all the records so it rec updated three records and if you see here it updated all three records with no name but the very first value it is printing is Amir because before even we update the values it was fetched already so that's the reason um, it is shown as uh, Amir Shahzad but next uh, fetch uh, when it is going to uh, go for the next fetch uh, it is going to get all those updated values so you see that here it is printing no name and now it is uh, going for the third one it is waiting for 15 seconds and then printing the third one so it uh, printed with the no name so we see that uh, when we do not put anything uh, right next to the cursor type here it is forward only dynamic cursor and in the forward only dynamic cursor we cannot use uh, the backward uh, uh, scrolling uh, such as let's say we want to say last uh, here or even we want to say um, let's uh, say first uh, let's see if it, it let us use the keyword first because all uh, next is also kind of first uh, and just experiment so we see that uh, even you use the first uh, it does not let you do it because it is forward only so the only option we have is the next uh, in the scrolling so no backward scrolling is allowed and second part uh, if it is uh, sensitive to the updates or deletes or insert you make to the base table so think about a scenario where you are interested to use this one especially maybe you are uh, let's say you are sending some emails uh, and uh, the new records will be inserted uh, while your cursor is open and you want to include them uh, in the email process uh, uh, and uh, that's where you can use a uh, forward only uh, dynamic cursor so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.